And we couldn't wait to share this story because it has everybody who meets her talking. When you think about feral pigs, chances are they are nothing like this. A little feral pig and her unusual ways has become a showstopper. KITV4's Larry Amata introduce, introduces us to Wilma the Horse Whisperer. That would be a feral pig, and you might think Penny the dog is trying to scare her off, but not everything is always what it seems. Come on, silly pig. That's Wilma, and she's welcome here. She's decided where the horses roam is exactly where she wants to be, stuck like glue until she needs to do what she might expect from a feral pig when a watering hole is on the way. All clean now. Across the open field of the Hawaii Polo Club in Mokalea, it's the kind of sight that makes you rub your eyes and blink twice. You did good, Wilma. Trotting lockstep from start to finish, albeit a wee bit shorter than her four legged friends. She came over and um, just kind of adopted all the other horses. I, you know, we kind Devin of Daly, an accomplished polo player, manages the club. Frank Hinshaw, AKA the Pig Whisperer, owns Skydive Hawaii across the street. And he has a pretty good idea of what happened. I mean, she was in a family of a half dozen, eight piglets. Uh, We'd see them on the side of the road, and, and uh, this is the only one that uh, had the sense to come over to this side of the road, I guess. <laughs> she thinks they're her herd. Handler Sarah Chiave says Wilma works the whole room, but has her favorites, and none of them seem to mind her company. They suspect in Wilma's mind, she's not much different. I think she thinks she's a horse. You know, this is her family. This is what she has left. You notice a little red harness here? Well, despite this being her favorite spot, she still does roam free. And everybody here knows that they needed to do something to try and keep her safe. There's tons of hunters. It needs to be done. We just wanted her mark so people would know that, you know, she's a pet. Wondering whether she still has a wild side? Well, just give it a minute. <laughs> That's what happens when there's food left in the bottom of the bin. She's still got her piggy ways. But most of the time, she's curious, giving cameraman Nate Sirota a nose bump and getting downright comfortable, letting TK give her the all important tummy rub. Have you guys named her? Uh, it's Wilma. Wilma, oh, it's so sweet. She's charmed the visitors, too. She's a camera ham, yeah, but don't say ham too much. <laughs> On their last day before returning to Winnipeg, Kristen Kramer says all she knew of feral pigs was a warning from a friend to stay away. But this time... So it's so cool that we get to see the wildlife that's actually here in Hawaii, and uh, she's just wonderful. I was ready for I'm ready, no. Cries from Devin's daughter, Isla Grace, no match for Wilma. But he envisions pairing the two, maybe making a miniature saddle if Wilma will have it. Besides, they know this unexpected addition will always be able to call this home. I want her to be here for a long time. Now, as we mentioned, she has free reign to roam. She's never leashed or locked up, and right now she's still pretty young and pretty small. They know she could easily grow to some 300 pounds or more. Uh, they've seen that happen, so it wouldn't be unusual. She'll still be a ham, though. She's still going to be a ham, <laughs> yeah. And, Oops, they, think, and they think, well, you know, if she wants to find uh, another pig friend and possibly mate at some point, they're okay with that. But they haven't seen her interact with one yet. She thinks mm -hmm. she's a horse. She is so <laughs> cute. And I love all the sound, all, you know, she the does. oinking and the grunting. So cute. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where does she sleep? Does she sleep in the barn with the horses? Sometimes or? they're out on the trail. She sleeps with them out there. They have tie ups there. Or she comes back to the stables and sleeps with them, and she'll sleep right under the horses. And they don't mind at all. And, and is course. Charlotte there as well? <laughs> you think so? The web as well? She's looking for Charlotte. Uh, maybe maybe a follow-up story. Yeah. Right. Uh, we love <laughs> Thanks, that story. Thanks so much, Laura.